Who's fat? Who's cute? Who's got a really big butt and a really big snoot? Who's fat? Who's cute? Whose name is Rue and who loves to smooch? Who's fat? Who's cute? No, he's really, really hairy and he's got a big snoot. Come on, everyone. Come on, down the bean bag pile. Come on, let's go get coffee and breakfast. Whoa, you took the long way. Don't encourage Rue to do that. You guys want to get coffee and breakfast? I don't know about Dad. He'll probably come in a little bit. One eternity later. Y'all want to know what my biggest regret of yesterday was? Not editing late at night last night when we came inside from hanging out with his family. Because we stayed up until like 1.15 but we didn't even edit. And now I've just gotten, well we, I mean me, didn't even edit. But I just got dressed and it's two now. And I'm just wearing these nice floral jeans I haven't worn in a while and this new top that I just thrifted. This is my first time wearing it. And honestly, like, I just didn't have time to shower today. I would ideally just like to work out and shower tomorrow morning. And so I'm just wearing a beanie today to cover up my hair. But I'm going to feed the dogs. I'm exporting my vlog now. And then we're going to go out on the town because we have an errand to run for Finley's mom. And maybe we'll do something else while we're something crazy. This is my speckly, freckly gumdrop girl. She's so fat in my little pearl. Look at her balloon belly. Lulu, we love your balloon belly. Mm-hmm. How old is Lulu? 24. She's not 24. Isn't she like 10 or something? I believe she's 24. Finley's mad at me because we haven't left the house and it's two something and now he's procrastinating and making me wait for him. Like he had to wait for me. I'm not mad. You're not mad? <laughs> You're just having some coffee while I have my kombucha. Cheers to brunch in Paris I'm and all the memories that we'll make beyond forever. I love you, Emily. <laughs> Please have this dance with me. What if you ate the mug? No family photo. Cute guys. Really cute. Thank you. Okay, let's go take our present to Ethel. And Finley still has to finish Christmas shopping and it is the 23rd. Hello folks, we are in the car and we have been given a task to go and drop off a ham and a letter to Ethel who, was she your nanny? No, she was, uh, she had the cleaner. Yeah, okay. So, an old cleaning lady for Finley's family, Ethel. I actually met her, like, two years ago, I feel like, around Delilah and Alex's wedding. Anyways, she's really a sweetie. And, um, Finley wanted to hand deliver this himself. And so we're gonna go see her and drop off some sweet goods for her and say Merry Christmas and just say hello. And then I think we're gonna go and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. We're doing a little antiquing. Looking for some gifts, darlings. Oh, almost knocked this damn branch off. What is that, do you think, for hot cocoa? I'm not sure, it looks like for three separate beverages. But... It's awesome. This is about to fall the heck out. Baby, it's L Louis Armstrong. We were literally just singing like him yesterday. These are really beautiful. Wow. Two cowgirls meet a cowboy. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I would love something like that in our home. Like a chandelier made out of wrapped twigs or something like that. Wouldn't that be so cool to have in our house? Yeah. Pretty easy to make, honestly. Yeah. I was thinking this year about making like a Christmas tree like this but out of like sticks and twigs and making it like that and then wrapping greenery around the outside of it. But I had a lot on my plate before we left town. Maybe I'll do that another time, another year. That's an old sink right here. Wow. Like, yeah, like with the spout. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Put that in your outhouse. <laughs> that would be sick. I love so much of this stuff. There's some repeat things, like this is the, there's three of these chandeliers. Oh yeah. I think they're pretty cool though. There's a lot of these everywhere too, like you were saying. Yeah. 
Just with different think, tops. I don't think that they're like antiques. I think they're probably from someone around here or something. Hello, Christmas truck. Really pretty cute. Still shopping away. Gonna go get some thing to eat. I thought you were just getting ready to moon me. Just getting a little worried. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I would. Very cute, once the lights go down. But all the stores are closed. Where are we right now, baby? At the old hell school. Was this your elementary and middle school, right? Yep. K through eight. We're taking the dogs to use the restroom on their fields and to maybe play on a playground a little bit. Be sure, do you love me? <laughs> you could probably use this. I feel like I'm in like Fresh Prince of Bel Air music video or something like that. You do? Uh huh. Check this one out, baby. <laughs> Why did she make that noise? Why did she make that noise? They're really happy to be out of the car and running around after our shopping day. Yeah, you guys love a little concrete area to just dwindle your little toenails down to a stubbies so you don't have to cut them, please. Maybe you can keep running over here. Baby. I love you so much, baby. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me and I've never been more sure about anything in my life. Baby. What is happening? <laughs> you just wanted to come to the playground with me. <laughs> I just wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. <laughs> well, I would absolutely love to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. Thanks, man. You think so? Maybe you're really... Okay. It's me. I didn't even see the ring. <laughs> oh, no. It's too dark now. <laughs> so my mom got this ring um, from her great-grandmother when she was 18, the same year that she met dead. Oh my god. I can't believe this has happened. <laughs> so, Will you I put it on for me? It'll fit at all, but we can try. I actually was going to try to get it fitted to you. Oh wow, it's really close. It fits perfectly. It's supposed so, to fit like that so it doesn't come off. Wow, that's crazy. It really fits pretty good. Mine needs to be a little bigger, but I can't believe that this just happened. It's pretty crazy. You had this plan all day for me? I had the plan all year, baby. <laughs> Not how, how I was going to do it exactly, but I knew I was going to marry you, baby. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to happen right now. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it's so funny that this happened right now, too, because when we were leaving Ethel's house, she said, and y'all are going to tie the knot soon, right? <laughs> I honestly was wondering how I could do it before we saw her, but I, I just wanted to, like, get it uh, organically on the camera. You know what I mean? I felt like right then was a good moment. I'm shook. It has the green in it, too, in the gold band. I thought it was such a pretty ring. Do you like it? I love it so much. And also, I can't believe that it's actually a family ring. I have so many things to say. <laughs> okay, first off, I knew that you were going to propose because I have seen some things over the course of since we left Montana. So, okay, let me just sit this here and then I need to back up a little bit so we can get comfortable and talk about all of the things and I can share all of my little secrets, baby. Okay, so first things first, on the day that you went on the bike ride with my dad in Montana with my brother, I really wanted you to go because I wanted you to have at least some time with my dad because I knew that you would probably ask for his blessing. And then when he came home, he posted this photo 
and I'll put it on the screen because I screenshotted it. He posted this photo on his Instagram story. Like today was the best day ever or something like that. Baby, I'm going to jump in here and say you're a little bit off because I definitely didn't ask him that that day. You didn't? No. When did you ask him? I didn't ask till the last night before we left and I didn't want to just ask your dad. I wanted to ask both your parents so oh. I found a moment with both of them and I had a conversation. Know. Where was I? <laughs> I was, I actually was like, oh, there will be a hundred chances, you know? And then I was like, wow, like, this is the last night. I really, I'm going to have to force this, huh? And so I was like, uh, you know, I'd love to like get a moment to talk to you guys. Like when you have a chance, you know, and then your dad like got the hint, you know what I mean? And, and then he went up to go talk to your mom and I went up, up to the house too. Like I was going to get a beer or pee or something like that Yeah. and, uh, saw them and, and I was like, Hey, do you guys have that moment basically? And they were like, Yeah, and so we went over and sat down. It was quick, it was like probably two, three minutes that we were talking. Oh but, my gosh. Um, yeah, just asked for their blessing, and they both were super supportive. So. <laughs> well, I was a little off about that day then, but I knew that you would probably ask on that trip. And I also knew for sure because for the first few nights that we were in Montana, I'm sorry that the lighting is so shit right now, guys. It's just today? such is the way of life. He's really excited. So excited to spend the rest of their life with us. <laughs> Oh, wow, so exciting. Um, I knew that you were gonna ask for my dad's blessing because we were sharing a phone charger some of those nights and then I woke up at like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. one night and I was like, oh, now that I'm awake, I should probably switch the charger from my phone to yours. And I plugged the charger into your phone and the screen lit up and it was a text like with all of your best guy friends and one of them had been like, yeah, man, I definitely think you should ask for her dad's blessing while you're there. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then, on top of that, also on the way home when we were road tripping, baby, you had pulled into a gas station and you had your phone up on the little, like, car tripod thing. And I was just sitting there, like, twiddling my thumbs, like, do 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 while the gas was filling up, waiting for you to come outside. And your phone screen lit up with a text from Stefan that was like, I am so happy for you guys. I basically just saying like how he knows that we will spend the rest of our lives together and like that he's really happy about that and I was like <laughs> <laughs> so I knew it would happen soon and then more stuff on vlogmas day I think it was 20 um when we had like been in the house for a little while and then you wanted to go back to the barn I was like putting my shoes on and you're like all right baby like <laughs> I'll see you in a little I'm gonna meet you over there and I knew that you're like talking to your mom in the kitchen and then I forgot my camera and so I came back in and I opened the door and literally it was like your mom you Georgina and Elias and every single one of you guys looked over at me and just stopped talking <laughs> and I was like oh my god they were talking about me like they were definitely talking about probably engagement and then I was like, <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> and I actually went back and I told the vlog, I was like, I just went into the room and you know, when you like walk into a house and you just like, everybody stops what they're doing. Like they're being very secretive. And I know it's probably about Christmas <laughs> and all of the top comments were like, I sense a proposal happening, <laughs> you know? I knew the vlog would know. That's why I had to include you guys in it. Perfect time. The perfect Vlogmas um, experience, truly. Yeah. No, I didn't know if you would want to share it or not online, but I wanted to at least have it docu- Well, I was talking to my mom. I was like, I think that we should maybe try to get like, hire a secret photographer or something like that. And then I'll like try to propose and we can get like photos of it and stuff like that that are like gonna be, organic or whatever um, yeah. but then the more I thought about it the more I'm like I just don't I don't want to like wake up in the morning and be like okay at 4 p.m. I'm supposed to propose in front of this tree and like I need to like make sure that that happens you yeah. know like I just didn't want to worry about it like that and then I was like well she's literally vlogging like she's she has a camera you know what I mean and I don't think she'll be upset or like find it weird if I do no. it then because also it's not like you're live streaming it's like you have complete control over this footage so you could keep this all private if you want to or do whatever yeah. you want and then you could take screenshots so like also I was just thinking like our memory books and stuff it'd be so nice to have an actual documentation of that exact 
you know the real moment and not like a recreation of it or something like that so yeah I thought it was and then you set your camera down like this and I was like well then she doesn't even have to have one hand busy <laughs> even better so yeah unfortunately it's dark now that was the only part that wasn't in my plans but <laughs> can't win them all yeah you cannot win them all but this was absolutely perfect baby and I actually like I I really did know that you would probably propose because one he said I'm getting you something for Christmas and I'm only getting you one thing because it's it's expensive he said that literally like two months ago and I go well I know what it is like and that's why I've been so nosy and crying because I just wanted you to tell me but then I also didn't really want you to tell me you know I'm just really nosy and also um we a heart <laughs> <laughs> a little ice heart for us that was just casually on love the ground yeah love you so much baby here but I have one image for you frozen lips really frozen well I knew you knew I mean I was like there's no way she doesn't and mostly because of the phone stuff I'm like I've told way too many people and like been texting <sighs> baby about it. I've there's told no so she, many people there's no way she doesn't know <laughs> I've told at least every single one of my <laughs> best friends. at least everybody <laughs> all of my best friends back home <laughs> no I said I'm not coming home for the holidays in low-key dude I think he's gonna propose <laughs> and then I I'm hedging my bets <laughs> I think if I if I forgo home this holidays, I might get proposed to. <laughs> and then I also wrote a note to the Schwartzes because Melly, so the family I used to nanny for, she was like, I want to be told when you guys are like actually really getting serious. And you know, I know that you love him and you'll probably marry him, but like, I want to know when it's about to happen. And so when I wrote them a Christmas card, I was like, in Melly, this one's for you. <laughs> I really do think it's going to happen this time. She texted me like two nights ago and was like, we are so happy for you. She said, I am absolutely obsessing over your car <laughs> in her South African way. I am just absolutely obsessed. Um, and I just am so freaking, freaking excited, baby. Well, I'm happy that I at least surprised you a little bit. You did actually, surprise but... me because I actually didn't think it would happen yeah, here. There so. were so many like little logistics too. Like I knew that even though you were gonna do it, I didn't know how to tell him that I really did want it to be filmed. And so like, I, cause obviously like I'm a very like nostalgic person and I love having memories in our memory books and all of these things. I'm gonna back the camera up just a really tiny bit so we don't I cut off your head anymore. Yeah, you can go pee. I'm just gonna talk right here. I'm also gonna take maybe a photo or two. Also, we went Christmas shopping with Georgina the other day and we went to that like creme de la creme store and I pointed to one like, really beautiful gold ring that had like an emerald green stone and I just slipped it on my finger and I go wow I really really like this one <laughs> so like if you were going shopping with one of your sisters that she would know and she just looked at me and kind of laughed and she goes yeah you want that one okay and then just like walked away and I was like Georgie knows like I know that she knows. And then also last night, like I was being just the least bit subtle in interviewing Delilah and Alex about their marriage <laughs> because I was like, so how do you guys feel about marriage? <laughs> like, I'm just so unsubtle. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I definitely knew you knew. There's no question about it. Yeah. And then yesterday when I had lunch with Elias, I said something about... Um, how I had walked into the room and everybody stopped talking and he goes, yeah, you know people are talking about you when they absolutely freeze a conversation and they didn't talk beforehand about, okay, and if the person walks in, <laughs> we'll start talking about this <laughs> instead. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, and I, I said to him because I, I didn't want to like actually tell somebody in your family, like, I know he's going to propose mm -hmm. because I know like you probably told all of them, but like I didn't want to completely ruin the secret and so I was like okay maybe I won't just love you so much I'm maybe. so excited to spend the rest of my life with you <laughs> I've known it for a long time <laughs> you know you never actually technically asked me will you marry me you just said oh, just would love to spend the rest of my life with you oh, will you marry me baby yes <laughs> Did I really not ask? No. <laughs> That's why I, I was sitting there with my arms over my mouth, just going, or my hands over my mouth, being like, is this all that he's gonna ask? <laughs> I was waiting for the answer before I asked the question. Yeah. 
The dogs are really just hanging out here behind us being a couple of cuties. I'm probably gonna turn the camera off now, so really excited. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Freaking wow, a vlogmas proposal. Who would have thunk it? That's a little shot for you. That's a little shot from me to you. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe this is real life. <laughs> Oh my gourd. While we were still on the tennis court, I FaceTimed my family and I was just like, I got it. <laughs> and my sister just got home, I think, yesterday. And so it was my sister and my mom and my dad. And we were just talking to them. I'll put in a little screenshot of me, like, telling them and their big smiles and everything like that and they were so excited and I just called my brother and he was at work but I just like you know showed my hand he goes Megan I'm at the office and I go Colin I just got engaged <laughs> and he was like oh my god and just like put his cam like his phone camera around to the people around him and was like guys my sister just got engaged <laughs> Rude, do you want to just come up here, please? Are you really excited or something and you don't know how to get up? We actually just got home a little while ago and immediately came up to the barn to just like refresh and hang out and just take a breather before we go into Finley's house because I just know as soon as we do, everybody's gonna be like, what? What's going on? You know, in like a great way, but we're just taking a couple minutes to ourselves really quick. And I just asked him, I was like, Finley, like, do you think I should change into something a little bit maybe cuter than a beanie and maybe I should take a shower or something? And he was like, no, we can do all of that tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just do that tomorrow. Take some cute photos and everything like that. I can't stop showing off my hand. <laughs> I feel exactly like my friend Callie who got engaged this year. She was like every single post on her Instagram and stuff after it happened She was like, I just can't stop sharing my hand <laughs> I'm like that's me right now. Just like mm -hmm. Interesting <laughs> and guys I just have to say that two years ago on Christmas when Finley and I were celebrating once we had both gotten back from our own like family celebrations and then we were back in Oregon and like opening gifts together he had made me this bracelet that I wear all the time and he took a photo of me wearing it and I was going like this with the bracelet on my hand <laughs> and Lindsay replied back to my story because I put it on my Instagram just like you know, an overall summary of all the gifts that we had gotten and given each other. And she replied and goes, you in two years with the ring. <laughs> and now I'm actually that. <laughs> like she literally, I told her this a couple months ago and she was like, oh my God, I literally manifested this for you. Like I actually knew the time frame that it would happen. I always knew it would be Christmas. I just knew Christmas is just great. <laughs> Things like this just happen. And also last year, I never told you guys this because it was just so fucking absurd, but Finley knows and stuff like that. But last year when I went home for the holidays, I went to a party at my friend Abby's house. And this guy that I hadn't spoken to, his name's Michael, great guy. I hadn't spoken to him in so many years, like since I graduated, at least like four years or something. And the first thing he said to me was like, so, hey, Megan, how's it going? Your sister told me that you might be getting engaged soon. <laughs> And I was like, what? And then I saw Lindsay like the next day, right? After our night of drinking and hanging out with friends. And she was like, oh yeah, I was telling people that last night. I'm just so excited for you. I just know it's gonna happen. And Finley was like, yeah, I was considering doing it last year. And then like, I kind of decided just to like wait a little bit longer and just, you know, make sure my time frame was good and everything like that. And I'm like, she just fucking knew. Oh, she's such a silly willy. Lindsay's actually been texting me just like back to back to back being like, I I'm flipping out. I can't believe it. This is the best thing to happen to Vlogmas in my whole year. <laughs> and I agree. I'm really happy that I got to share this moment with you guys and that you guys got to see it when it happened and everything like that. I had my suspicions. I did. Oh, and I just can't, I still can't believe it. I just really, like I did know it was gonna happen, but I didn't know it was gonna happen tonight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we have to go have dinner with his family even though we literally just ate in town, like right before it happened and we went to the Hill School 
we had just gotten like drinks and a little bit of food and then it happened and then when we were driving home finley was like i wonder if my family's like making a really big dinner or something like that because i don't think his family knows it's gonna happen tonight either so we're gonna go and give them the big surprise <laughs> but yeah really happy hi guys it's actually a few hours later now finley is asleep next to me my fiance has passed out actually are you not asleep he's not asleep he's grabbing me um, I'm just gonna end off the vlog here because we were just inside just kind of celebrating having some toasts with his family. We we're having a little champagne, a little rosé, talking about wedding plans and all of that stuff like that we can just think about for the next however long <laughs> over the course of this pandemic. <laughs> but for right now we're just celebrating our sweet proposal and being cuties and just being in love and loving life so thank you for watching i'm gonna end this off here it's yeah it's 12 a.m and i just started editing this but i just want to like get it edited exported and hopefully set it to upload tonight so that tomorrow i can just like shower in the morning we can take like cutie engagement photos in the daylight and we can just celebrate christmas eve and you know be with his family and whatnot so i'm looking forward to that his sister delilah and her husband alex were actually not here tonight so we're gonna see them tomorrow they already know because we were you know talking to them on the phone and stuff like that and for really just the entire rest of tonight we we're texting friends facetiming friends all the kind of stuff just telling like our close family and friends and then tomorrow will be the the whole big reveal when you're seeing this so anyways if you enjoyed this please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more vlogs and a happy life of loving <laughs> you can go and check out my patreon which is patreon.com slash megan hughes if you want to see more content from me and i will just see you guys in the morning stay smiling I can't believe today was real. Oh, wow. <laughs> Love you.